Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to yet another video here on Blox Victory. Roblox Bed Wars. It's in the name. You need to know the technique behind breaking the enemy's bed in the game, which is why in this video, we have for you the best ways to break beds fast in the game. The techniques involve you being aggressive and also calm and planned as you take down beds. So stay tuned and watch the video right till the end. Before we start with the video, however, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. This way, you will never miss another video. With that said, let's jump straight into today's video. Now, why do you need to break more beds in bed wars? Well, the more beds you break, the more advantage you have over your enemies. Taking an enemy's bed down early on in the game has you gain that upper hand and inflict a lot of damage on them. Let's now go and look at the techniques to break beds. Use Shears The first technique we have for you is to use shears. Not many people know this, but using shears is one of the fastest ways to break beds in the game. If you have shears, you can tear up the wool. Doing this early on in the game is beneficial, especially if you can see their base early on in the game. This technique is faster than a pickaxe and is the same speed as a wooden ace. Now, don't worry about dying because if you take out a bed, you stand to gain. You also want to bypass your enemy. Go around them and if you do manage to bypass them, it means they're not protecting their beds. If you don't manage to get the bed down in one shear, don't worry. Keep trying and if you don't get it in the first try, you'll definitely get it in the next try. Another great thing about the shear technique is that if your enemy is on your heel chasing you, you can destroy your path of blocks and make the enemy fall to their death. Don't rush or be aggressive. Our next tip for you is to not rush and be too aggressive to destroy beds. If you destroy an enemy's bed, there is a certain chance that they will be after you and will look for an opportunity to destroy your bed. If you're out and are not protecting your bed, there's no point going out and trying to get more beds down. What you need to be doing really is protecting your bed. There's no point rushing. Take it slow and be calm. If you're a beginner, this is all the more important for you to follow. Maybe as you get more experience and are more trained, you can apply the aggressive technique. Otherwise, you're just being foolish and risking it all. Try upgrading your weapon. Maybe get a diamond sword. But yes, you definitely need to keep this in mind while playing. The height-based tactic. The next tactic we'd like to mention is also preferred one for many of Bedwars gamers. The tactic is simply called height-based. This one is a really great method and what you want to do here is go 4 blocks up against an enemy. Your enemy will try to build his box and get to you, but it's going to be too late for them. Do this in front of the opponent's bed, jump onto their bed, and in a couple of strikes, you can break their bed. Keep the iron axe as it is going to come handy to destroy beds. Pay attention. You always need to pay attention while playing the game. Always pay attention to every team. Keep in mind where their teammates are, where you're at, where the blocks are placed, and more. The main objective for you is to find a really easy way to get a bed destroyed and it's a bit of a strategy which requires your attention. So always pay attention at what we mentioned previously and you will find it much easier to destroy beds more easily. Weapons now, we did speak about weapons already. You know you need the iron and diamond sword is way too powerful for you. These can easily destroy beds. A simple pickaxe or a wooden axe wouldn't do you much good, so try to upgrade to a stronger weapon. Anyway, if you keep in mind the techniques we mentioned, we can guarantee your gameplay will be much more easier. That brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.